Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to talk about Juno Mission. Well you've probably heard about Juno Mission by now and you probably already know what it's all about, but if you don't, um, I'm going to recommend to you to explore this awesome free simulation from um, NASA that I'm going to show you right now. Now I've actually talked about this previously in one of the previous videos where I've discussed four uh, most common simulations that I like to use that are absolutely free. But today we're going to do this together. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button right now. Welcome to What The Math. So once again, this is actually called NASA's um, Eyes Visualization. Uh, very sort of interesting name for this free software, but basically what it allows you to, you to do is uh, it allows you to access all kinds of really awesome NASA simulations um, based on uh, real-time data. Now, this is actually the most up-to-date uh, software that we have right now. It is not as impressive as, uh, let's say, Space Engine, but it is uh, very, very accurate and very up-to-date, and it's updated uh, pretty much every day. So whenever a new star is found, you can always find it in this simulation. Now we're only going to take a look at this one here. That's basically the Juno mission. We're going to explore it. I'm going to show you some of the cool features here. This actually has been added uh, right after the Juno mission was finished. Um, and uh, so you have these really cool buttons right here that you can explore by yourself. But I'm going to focus on only one thing. I'm only going to do the Jupiter orbit insertion. So you can actually basically visualize and imagine what it was actually like and why it was so kind of scary and exciting at the same time. You may have actually heard scientists kind of say, oh, we don't know what's going to happen and it might actually, you know, burn and it might actually uh, get fried. And I'm going to show you today why they thought so. So this is actually the Juno probe. Uh, basically, this is what it looks like in real life. It sort of spins at, at exactly this uh, speed. Um, and I believe uh, this is the rest of the solar system and right there we have Jupiter. Um, now you can actually take a look at it from different sort of angles, you can do the cinematic view if you just want to enjoy the beautiful view of Juno orbiting around Saturn. Uh, Saturn? No! What am I talking about? What's Saturn? Jupiter! We're here at Jupiter, this is not the correct gas giant I just, my mouth decided to pronounce. Anyway, um, so uh, various cool buttons that you can kind of look at. I really recommend you to go through this, the science of Jupiter. This basically tells you about, um, you know, everything that it's going to do here. It's, it explains everything in a lot of detail. And I kind of don't really want to spoil it for you, but uh, you get to learn about things like magnetic field and the strength of magnetic field on uh, Jupiter. And of course, it's permanent aurora. You can even see the rings of Jupiter that we also see in Space Engine. Uh, and all of this is really, really cool. But I'm not going to spoil this for you because I would like to actually, um, I would like you to explore it yourself. Let's do the insertion instead. Now, insertion, we're going to slow down a little bit. Ooh, too much. Uh, it's going to be in um, hours per second. We're going to go a little bit faster. And right here, you can actually see the vi visualization of Juno approaching um, Jupiter. This was actually back in uh, July 4th of 2016. July 5th, 2016, it's going really fast. And all of the, the actual timeline is right here below. And now I'm actually going to enable radiation field because I wanna, I wanna show you why the scientists were so worried about this, um, this particular probe. Um, you can also see interior of Jupiter if you actually want. Uh, it does show you what's on the inside of this beautiful planet, but we're not particularly interested in this as much as we are in the actual um, field around uh, uh, Jupiter. So this is the super strong magnetic field uh, rings that are formed by uh, the uh, circulating, I believe it's actually hydrogen that has become metallic and has started to produce this beautiful magnetic field around uh, Jupiter. But we're going to also possibly uh, disable it. Oh, wrong button. Disable this and just leave the a radiation field. Now Jupiter has a tremendous radiation field. You can kind of see the strength representation here in color. So blue is already pretty strong. Blue will probably kill you in a few days. Uh, okay, maybe maybe a few months. Green is basically super deadly and red is deadly to the point where you'll probably die if you go in there. Um, and uh, this is what the scientists were afraid of. So when Juno passes by really close to um, Jupiter, it's going to sort of jump into this radiation field and the scientists were afraid that it, everything is going to be fried on the inside. Luckily for us, it didn't happen, it survived, uh, but you're going to see this happen really, really soon. So right around uh, here, I'm actually going to increase the size of this, uh, but you can kind of see its uh, approach from over here. And uh, this is actually exactly how Juno did it. They approached, 
um, from this polar region right here. We actually got to, for the first time ever, see what uh, Jupiter looks like. Uh, the polar uh, region of Jupiter, sorry, How, what the polar region of Jupiter looks like, because we've never seen it from this angle. We always uh, we always see it from the side, and all of the previous probes has, have always taken pictures from the side, but for the first time we were able to see the top, and we obviously were quite impressed by it. There's actually a really cool picture of it available on the internet. Uh, so right now we are already 60,000 miles away from Jupiter, but we're going to get even closer. You're going to see how close it gets. Um, it's going to be uh, to the point where it gets really, really scary. And um, as it approaches its periapsis, or the closest um, point of its orbit, it's going to basically turn around and start blasting its engines the opposite direction. You're going to see this happen very soon. So there's a, actually a sensor on the inside right now that um, tells the probe how close it is to the planet. And at certain point, it's going to basically stop rotating in this direction. It's going to rotate in a different direction and it's going to enable its engines. You'll see this happening really, really soon. It's going to burn those engines for 30, uh, almost 36 minutes. No, actually 35 minutes, 35 minutes and eight seconds. And look at that. See, it's already inside the dangerous um, radiation field. And there go the engines. It's going to burn for half more hour. It's going to slow down. And this is when the capture maneuver happens. And this right here is the most dangerous part of the mission. It's at about 3,000 miles away from Jupiter. It's going through the super deadly radiation field. Uh, the closest approach was about 2,700 miles or about 4,000 kilometers. And this is actually pretty close. It's very, very close to Jupiter. Um, it was basically passing by through these, this entire really dangerous region, and it's going to do this several times. But if it survived the first time, it's probably going to survive uh, the other times. Now, it has finished burning its engine. It is now basically uh, in orbit. This is essentially what the orbit around Jupiter is going to be like. It is a very eccentric orbit. We don't really see the whole um, elliptical shape, but it's basically from as close as 2,700 miles uh, to as far as several million miles. Uh, so it's a very, very elliptical orbit and it's going to have um, exactly 37, I believe, or is it 39? I think it's 37. 37 orbits around Jupiter is going to pass by. Uh, this is going to take it a few years and after this, it's going to basically um, blast its engine one more time at the apoapsis, at the you know, highest point of orbit, and then plunge into the Jupiter's atmosphere right here. It's going to basically get destroyed inside Jupiter. Now, the reason why it's going to do this is really there's only one reason, and it's like actually a very interesting reason. It's the reason of preserving possible life on Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. If we one day land on these three moons and we discover life, and it actually came from this probe, it's going to be a big bummer for us. So in, in order for this not to happen, in order for possible microbes that we have on this probe right now not to contaminate these moons, uh, the scientists decided that they're going to basically plunge the, the probe, the Juno probe, back into Jupiter. Uh, there's a few other reasons. One of them, of course, is that, you know, Juno technically is the wife of Jupiter, so she's basically <laughs> returning back to him. Uh, that's the more mythological reason. But, of course, the, there's also a, going to be a bit of science done. So when they plunge into the atmosphere, they're going to basically start calculating all kinds of parameters about atmosphere, about uh, what the actual magnetic parameters and also atmospheric parameters are closer to the upper atmosphere of Jupiter. And uh, basically, we're going to hopefully find out a lot more about both its magnetic field and its composition and possibly even some of the mysteries, like, for example, the aurora that it has and, of course, the infamous great red spot of Jupiter, about which I've talked about previously in one of the videos. So essentially, this is what this mission was like and this is what it's like still. Um, if you're watching this in the future when the mission has already finished, well, this is when it all started. And uh, if you still haven't really used the simulation, do give it a try. It is a pretty awesome uh, free simulation available from JPL NASA. All right, so that's all I wanted to do in this video. We're definitely going to come back to Jupiter many, many times in the future. We're going to explore all of its mission and possibly going to also talk about one of these buttons in the future as well. Uh, especially if you have any questions about it. Uh, so uh, this is it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you still haven't subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And don't forget to share this video with someone who actually likes space, science, math, and video games. Because technically this is actually a video game. Well, is it? I don't know. I think it is. It's fun. It must be a video game. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. And as always, bye-bye.
and I'm going to go and zoom in on Juno and see if I can actually uh, make it a much more beautiful cinematic view. I believe the button is actually right here. And look at this beauty. We're right by Jupiter. What a beautiful probe.